Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to be editing our script and adding the slip threshold that we talked about and some f and, and and some view collider settings. So let's go ahead and create a serialized field called this private float slip threshold and set that to 0 0.2f. Then create a space after the nightwork cooldown and give it 10. Then we create a header view collider settings and then give a space and then call this header forward fiction. Simply say serialized field private float extremum slip one. And then serialized frame private float extremum value 1. Then we talk about the asymptote slip, which is 1f. Same for the asymptote value, which is 1f. And finally, serialized frame private float stiffness is equal to 2f. But right now, let's just check what if we can enter decimals in it. Yeah, we can. So let's go here and let it be a float, but just change this to 2. Now we're going to give another space and just say serialized field um, a private float. Um, extremum uh, side of a vitamin. Let's just add a header. And this header is going to take in a sideways friction. Alright. Now we can add a serialized field private float side extremum slip. That's 0 0.2. Same for the side extremum value. That's 1. Now we create another serialized field private float side asymptote slip equals 0 0.5f. Serialized field private float side asymptote value equals 0 0.75f. Private and then the same thing private floats um, and the side asymptote value. Now finally just assign them their um, slip thresholds and then these values too. Side, side, side asymptote value, and now this one is side stiffness. I guess we're kind of we're done now almost. Um, yeah, kind of, but. Okay, so let's go back to Unity, and in this, you can see how we have our variables in there. Now, let's just show you we have imported one more package called Sample Racer, and let me just search for it. Sample Racer, here it is, Sample Racer Environment Pack. This package uses iTween for the menu, but who cares about menu? You just want the envir environment. Um, and if you search for iTween, you get the easy animation system for Unity, you can see. Yeah. But whatever, we don't want this. Just showing you that there's an iTunes path. No, there's this multipath, but not path itself. So let's just go back to Slim and this iTunes path. But that just give the air. Who cares? There's somebody saying yikes, but who cares? And if we just import this inside. Now let me just think about to see what happens. Just don't care about this uh, simple sample racer. I don't think we should just you know do this anyway. Maybe you don't need menu. Already have menu. Well, the errors are actually two errors. That's coming from I doing multipath himself. That's so funny. But who cares about these multipaths and these act wings and whatever they are? We just want these environments, so you can see how they've given so many scenes: airport, desert, Rena, garage, misc, stadium, skyboxes, UI, UI, sorry. And then you just need to generally just check the animations that they gave us. That's not working. Not able to drag a single object in there with the animator, maybe. Um, whatever, we don't need these, um, anyway, so, um, show, now because the, um, this has a garage here, called garage, we can easily use this, so let's drag this garage, because, well, that looks way better than anything, any garage I've seen to, such, you can see that the garage position is not at the right position. Let me just position the garage. Make sure not to move the um, car itself, otherwise it's going to become bad. Yeah. Everything looks fine. It looks much better than the thing. Um, what are these shelves for? I really don't know. But now I'm gonna just tweak some values. Meanwhile, you watch me. 
I'm going to fix the camera field of view then I'm going to fix camera going through objects and making the garage look much better with scaled sizes <clears throat> so um, I'm just gonna stay for um, for a bit I'll stay quiet for a bit right now meanwhile you can uh, see me how I do it Seems a bit bad. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Let's just try scaling the size of this thing. Okay, now let me play the game. And okay, soul clipping. Just need to scale this a bit more bigger. But let me try changing some things. Like maybe move the garage position. Um, well, that didn't work perfect like I expected. So let me just change the size maybe to uh, 1.7. Something about that. Now I must make sure that the camera doesn't go through anything. Um, let me pause and let me actually see. Here I'm going to change the rod 80 speed so it's faster. Well, actually that doesn't look better. The camera is rotating around the focal point, but you can see it went through. I'm gonna move it a little there. Well, let's just see what it does. Okay, and that didn't go like expected again. So let me change the field of view here. That looks fun. You can see more objects. Yeah, more objects at the same time. Oh, yo! Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. So you can actually adjust this field of view to your needs, but I really don't need to change it right now. I'll maybe make it 60 sometime. Now, 1.8 is going to match maybe. Perfect. And yup, it didn't bang on the other side. And of course, yes, that was what I was expecting. Let me just change the speed for some of my celebration. You can also make it really slow if you want, but who cares about that? Now back into the main camera, let's change the fourth to fifty. Um and let me just change this fifty-five. Oh sixty would work. Okay, sixty catches every single thing of the car's body, which is kind of exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna change my field of view to sixty and basically um we're kind of almost done now. Just rename this to Garage Mechanical. Or maybe, yeah, Garage Mechanical. Okay, and best of all, that's it. Um, let me just explore some more. Let's see what this garage actually does have. Okay, it has stairs that lead up with s some textures, not actual, actual objects. Yeah, I'd recommend fixing these textures. It just, it just it should be more. And I'll see you in the next video.